How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we had finished Gluten's Kitchen and paid off our debt. We no longer owe any money of any kind. And the president joined us after we learned that Louie had just somehow disappeared after we were trying to escape. That was a lot to take into. Today's episode, we had now joined, or we had, of course, entered um, shower, the shower room, and now we're gonna go ahead and try our best to complete it. We are a little bit under halfway done, and we are now entering more realm of some of the more dangerous spots in the shower room. And of course, lesser spotted jelly floats are messing with us. Let's go ahead and try to clear this. Um, I can't really say too much apart from what's gonna happen now. Oh. Uh, I will say, um, in the shower room, at least the floor that we're on, this floor is the more notable. Oh, okay, what if... Wait, did any of my Pikmin... None of my Pikmin got squished from that. That is amazing. I thought they would have certainly fell under. Okay, I'm gonna wait one more time because I know this guy's gonna try to be funny. There we go. You stupid Wallywog. Okay, that's good. That was what I was gonna explain. Um, the wall, <laughs> there are gonna be a lot of instances where enemies will fall from the ceiling. That's gonna be, of course, a lot of the case we will be seeing regardless. But that was just a bad example of a Wally Wong being right behind a gate that had nothing to do with um, getting any treasure. It probably wasn't that bad. And of course, we are now in another room where we see a lot, a bunch of other lesser spotted jelly floats, and of course, and of course. And of course, the bigger one being the greater spotted jelly float. Of course, kind of like in the name, it's greater, meaning it's bigger. Um, it is slightly more threatening just because it has a greater surface area to suck in Pikmin. And also doesn't help that um, it does have a higher chance of knocking out Pikmin um, if it stays inside its, um, I guess, suction for too long. And of course, the bigger one would have the treasure that's the more notable one. And I'm gonna try to take out both with one with one swoop, and I'm so far not doing a good job. I'm just trying to get both of them to fall down. Alright, so that one should be knocked out. And of course the other one just starts to decides to come over. And this one should be pretty easy. Um, I will say this layout is a bit more generous than other than other layouts would have been. Um, a lot of the enemies are a bit more spread out. Of course, the more the less threatening ones would be the lesser spotted jelly floats, just because they don't really do anything too harmful, even if you take your time with them. And of course, there's a water dumple right over there. Let's just grab this one. I think there should be two more after this one. This one is... Is it... Emily? Em Emily? Emily the Mirrored Staged. Well, it's kind of like that 140 Pocos. It's, um... I don't know women's I don't know women's products like that. I want to say that's like some type of powder, but I <laughs> I just sound very um general when I say that because I don't know anything else about that. <laughs> like obviously not because I'm a guy and I don't know <gasps> water double fall from the ceiling. <laughs> that did kind of scare me. No lie, that really did kind of scare me just a little bit. Like who would it? Like why would it that scare me? A, a water double just fell from the sky like casually. And of course the white pigment had to fall into the water. I don't think there's a treasure here. I think I should have already said if there was, but... I mean, not said, but it should have already been more obvious through the radar, so no, nothing there. Let me just go ahead and collect these remains. The last two are definitely going to be on that side then. It's probably behind... It's probably behind that gate, just because there's... That's the only thing we haven't even really touched yet. They're grabbing some pigment. I want to make sure everyone's going along with me. Uh, I feel like there is supposed to be one more enemy, but other than that, I think that water dump was the last one. I mean, not water dump, excuse me, the hermit crop mat, the small version at least. Come on, get near me. There we go. And then we can just charge at it, honestly. It's very, um, passive when it leaves its, when it leaves its home. And of course it made them leave Pikmin, why would it not? Please, nothing fall from the ceiling. It should just be these two treasures in there, that should be it. I'm gonna stay by near this one just in case it, there is something that falls from the ceiling. We probably should have already seen it since the Wallywog fell like literally right as we were like gonna approach it. So I don't think anything should fall. Okay, good. Nothing did. So that way I can go ahead and let them take care of this and then we can go ahead and just get out of here. I don't have to spend too much time over here. Uh, let me go ahead and just break that egg. Any kind of nectar just helps. 
Of course. Alright, I'll go ahead and let them take care of that and just grab some flowers along the way. Even I'm not gonna really have much all of them flowers. Alright, little by little, um, I can't use, I can't take all my Pikmin over because of the water hazard, so I'm just gonna have to separate them for now. Alright, we get a can lid that the pop sealed versions, the Vorpal Platter, 60 Pokos. I don't even know what that means. It just reminds me of like the tuna can um, lids, that's honestly it. And then I guess the top part of the seashell, or yeah, seashell, yeah. I don't know what else I was gonna say, clamshell. 60 Pokos for the scrumptious shell. Oh yeah, that, I mean, yeah, most people would eat. Oh wait, one more thing. Yeah, most people, like the, since it said the scrumptious shell, most people for, like eat like the oyster parts, so that's probably what that means. I honestly didn't even think about that. I'm honestly a, not a fish person. I love fish, don't get me wrong, fish is delicious, but a lot of this shellfish family, I can't eat due to allergies. And many people will always criticize me for that because I just can't eat it. And it's like, I'm not really, I feel like people are always gonna tell me I'm missing out, but I mean, it's it's just how it is, you know? When you get allergies, you just miss out on certain foods. Okay, so enough of that sad story of myself. We are entering what is considered a rest area. There is a treasure here. I think there should just only be one. This rest area is gonna be a bit more um, expansive than the other one that we saw back at Subterranean Complex. There is, this is a good place to grow specific pigment colors if you didn't bring a whole hundred or happen to lose a lot on the, along the way. You will see Queen Candy Pop Buds. Okay, let me not throw my pigment number like that. Um, there are some of these butterflies that, um, depending on their color, will drop certain nectar depending on the ones you knock out. Um, if you happen to knock out the one, oh. Hey, there we go. Come on, drop the nectar. Oh, it didn't. I, normally it should. I thought it did. I thought it always did 100% of the time. I guess not. That's not a big deal. Um, other than that, uh, where is the treasure? Normally, it's either at this end or it's maybe over here. Because the layout should be a bit more obvious to us now. Okay, so the exit's going to be over there. The exit for the cave is over there. The exit to leave the dungeon, if you don't want to continue any further, is over here. So it has to be, yeah, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna just let the white pigment take it so it's gonna be faster. There's nothing else for us to do here. There's literally just the one treasure and a bunch of the, okay, so the enemies are called the unmarked spectrum. Those are what those are called, those butterflies with that are representing the color of nectar. That's all that's here. And then queen candy pop buds. Other than that, we can just go ahead and proceed forward. Just gonna go ahead and collect that treasure and get through here. And then that'll be it. And go on to sub level five. Just gonna wait for them to actually Grab the treasure, and I guess to elaborate more on my allergies, I will say it as a personal note. Personal note, um, I am the most well known, and most people that meet me, will, I'm most known for having like some of the most allergies, to, most common allergies to pet most things. It's so sad. I said ten focus for the Amboreal Flippery, Flippery, meaning the good stuff. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I'm allergic to a lot of things, and most people that typically will tell me when I'm allergic to something, whether it's like something so good, the most common ones are of course like shellfish, because you know, many people love lobsters, crawfish, shrimp, and then like, of course, nuts, like, you know, chocolate and peanut butter, and any kind of chocolate like that, candied, and anything with peanuts. They will always tell me like, oh, you're missing out, they're so good, I can't believe you can't have them. I'm like, I mean, yeah, it sucks, but it's, it's how it is, you know, I can't do anything about it. It's unfortunate. All right, sub level five. And this one is riddled with enemies at around every corner, and we get the I violet candy pop -up. And of course, there's a wally log right there. <laughs> you have to be real careful. It can't reach me from right there. That's so broken. That is, that is actually messed up. Screw you. Get over here. You actually just pissed me off right there. How can you reach me from there? All right, that's one enemy done. The withering blow hog. All right, and a bunch of orange dwarf bulb orbs. This shouldn't be that bad. I might have to go through this side. I also hate how there's a fiery blowhog on the freaking water. Like, come on, this game is actually broken. No, get over here. This, this, this honestly is taking a bit longer than I should. I still get the feeling there's a falling enemy somewhere, maybe over here. I, there's so much open space that it makes me think that it should be here. Oh, okay, so the, okay. Uh, please not near here. Please not near here. Alright, hopefully there's an egg somewhere nearby. Alright, so there's a treasure up there. 
seems to be nothing over here. I guess I won't know that until I actually go there. Unless it's just dead space, then it probably could be just dead space. I might have to just use the blue pigment to knock down the fiery blowhog just because it's in a very inconvenient spot for me. Um, all right, I'm probably gonna have to do that. There's nothing else over here. This area seems to be very clean. You guys, I know you guys are slow, but can you please get over here? Okay, so I'm not stepping back there anymore because of that reason alone. I'm just gonna have to use the blue pigment since I can't really use my reds to go over there. It's gonna have to be very effective when I do this. Alright, not bad. I just prefer purple since this would have taken a lot shorter, but honestly, that, that should be it. Alright, very easy. I'll go ahead and just throw my blues and grab some of the treasure just to get it over with. I know there's gonna be one more treasure over there. I'm gonna have to... Alright, should be enough for seven. I'm just glad my red pigment didn't fall into the water and kill them, so... No, 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 no! I forgot about the fiery guys, I'm not gonna lie. Emergency, Pikmin are suffering. If you blow up your whistle, you'll be able to help them. Yes, something we probably should have already known from the start. Okay, I know, it's a mess. I know, it's a mess. I know, it's a mess. No one should die, no one should die, no one should die, no one should die, no one should die. No one should die. Okay. Yes, I know, big mess. You guys just saw a very sad moment. I forgot all about a fire geyser, and it literally almost caused me to lose so much Pikmin. Not even directly from that, just, okay. I am definitely not the smartest player alive when it comes to this game. That's hands down the obvious truth. I am not the smartest person when it comes to playing this game. I am very sad. Like, that was just... That was literally about to be the biggest moment of my life ever. Oh my god, I am very bad at this game. Uh, the Yoo-Hoo Chocolate Fave Flavored Bottle Cap. The Pondering Emblem. 100 Pokos. I feel like we saw something already with that name. I don't remember. Alright, so the annoying thing is gonna be that there's a bunch of enemies right there, and the one that's gonna annoy me the most is the... The Wally Wog, just because it's the stronger one. Beach Cliff Sardines in soybean oil. Proudly made in the USA. The Endless Repository. 130 Pokos. I don't really get that name, but... Oh, and of course there's a stupid gate right there. That annoyed me because I know the Wally Wog can see me. Yeah, of course it saw me right there. The Fiery Blowhawk can also see me. I'm going to assume the gate shouldn't spit the fire through, so I should be okay with it. Are you kidding me? It can? Alright, get distracted by me. Get distracted by me. Okay, never mind. That was so broken, the fact that it could see me. All right, this should be a lot better now. Okay, so I know the I know the Wally Wall can see me. I know I can see. Me. Get closer. All right, that should be good. That should be good. That's it. All right. A little bit of annoyance, but that was still a bit um, less um, dangerous as it could have been. All right, and no, what are you doing? Don't hit that. What is wrong with you? All right, and then the last treasure is up here. This sub-level is actually the cave that you're supposed to bring a good amount of blues, because if you do happen to lose some, or you don't ref ref um, bring a good amount when you, um, after, if you don't use like the candy pop hood, like the, can the queen one, um, you might have to restart the game or this cave if you don't happen to bring enough. That will be where the more annoying part, of are you serious? Eh, it's not the big one, so that's fine. Just don't. I need 20, okay. Alright, that should be enough. Just throw all of them in there. Let's go. I wasted so much time just doing that. I just I just saw my yellow pigment right there and I got scared that it, I could have thrown it in there by accident. And I guarantee you that would have been to death. Guarantee it. Alright. Go ahead and bring him over. Alright, so we got the pan. So kind of like the sardine can, the the endless repository. And also, um, this item, the frying pan, those can be on there, so you want to make sure you bring a good number of blue pigment or else you're forced to restart because there's no way you can use any other pigment other than that. It's literally in a water um, surface. So just make sure you do bring pigment for that enough of them so that way you don't have to restart the cave. That'd just be sad. 90 pokers for a broken pan. The, the broken food master. That's exactly a good name for it. Okay, so that's it there. Um, 
I kind of do need some purples just because I will still be needing to get a good amount more. Uh, I might just have to get rid of some yellows. Uh, I don't really need it. Uh, you know what? All right, Reds, you're you're donezos. Yes, you're done though. I'm pretty sure if you leave Pikmin underground and you don't pluck them, I'm almost certain you lose them because I don't think you get them automatically. I've never tried that. It's something I kind of do want to try now, but I really just don't want to do all that because that just wastes so much time. And probably it's not a good idea because you probably will lose your Pikmin that way. Okay, so this is going to be sub-level 6 we're entering. We still have one more after this, but since we still have roughly half the day left, um, of the perplexing pool, I will dedicate the remaining half of that episode for the last half of that day. So that way, it'll just be a great way to tie into the time left. Because we still have, this should be enough time to finish this sub level. And back to the shower room music. I love this music. Okay. So we are gonna have to be a little bit careful in this cave. Um, one of the big predominant features in this cave is going to be others. Uh, Okay, so there's a bumbling stitch bug and then a bunch of wall oh, wally walls over there. I don't think that'll be that bad. At least I hope not. So one thing we are going to have to be wary of is that there are going to be a lot of dweebles when we start heading over to the opposite side of this cave. So we just want to make sure that you're cautious of that. Right, yeah, see the wally walk already senses my presence. Like that annoys me that a wally walk can see me that far. Of course you can see me that far. That purple Pikmin was was coasting by a little bit too, a little bit too casually. I was getting a little nervous right there. All right. I don't. Is there a treasure thing? Oh, there is. Okay. I'm just gonna bring some of them a bit closer so that way I can grab my blue Pikmin because the bumbling stitch bug is a little bit closer than I want it to be. Well, actually, I can drag it over here if it sees me. See me. Notice me. Notice me, baby. It, it grabbed the president. Let go of my president! Okay, that was really bad. I'm just gonna bring Blue Pikmin, honestly. That was just very bad. It can't even reach! It couldn't even reach! This game is broken! There we go. I was like, this game is actually broken. It couldn't even reach it. Aw, oh, that's fucked. Come on. Get, let go! Oh my. This bumbling stitch bug is not that hard to defeat, and it's literally pissing me off. This game is actually broken. Alright, there we go. Now it's dead. That actually got me so upset that it took that long for me to defeat it. Okay, now we can just leave this section because we're done here. That was so sad. I honestly thought the weight of the Pikmin would have been enough for it to not um, get it stuck. I mean, to keep it down underground and not let it get back up, but no, that was certainly not the case. Okay, so one thing that we are going to have to make sure we start when we go ahead and start that area is we do kind of want to be careful with the um, orange bullboard. I kind of don't want it to see my Pikmin, but what I'm also going to do is reach, explore that area alone because there are some volatile doodles there and I don't want to bring any Pikmin near there because that is not going to be a good idea. So 90 Pokos for the Rubber Ducky. The Rubber Ugly! What a great name. It's 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 based on that story, but it's also a, not a great way to name that thing. It's not rubber ugly. Don't be so mean to it. Alright, is there any, even anything behind here? Oh, no, 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 Okay, alright. Uh, I want to be careful. Alright. I know you're dropping more. Aw, oh, dang, I wasted too much time. Okay, that's okay. I wanted to keep my concentration because I also didn't want to lose Pikmin because of the poison. Alright, come on. Come on, drink up. Right, that doodle bug. It's very great, but it's also, you gotta be very careful with it sometimes. Like, it's still better to use purples, but white Pikmin is probably the more easier so that way you can actually throw onto it, but the purples just have that ground pound ability, so it just helps a lot. Alright, so where are you volatile weevils at? Stupid. <laughs> like stupid. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. No, get away! Oh, it only lost half of its HP. I know there's there has to be one more volatile dweeb one here. There's no way that's it. Oh no, that's um that's actually a dweeb. Wait, then what's in here? Oh, okay, so the rest are just dweebles. Okay. 
Alright, so there was actually only just one volatile Dweeble. Are you really gonna go that- You're broken. I was about to be like, this guy's broken. It was really about to see me from that far. Alright, so there should be no more of the volatile Dweeble. It's just this Dweeble. I can't even see it on the shadow. It's too far away for me to see. Was it the Mung Dweeble? The purple one? Alright, yeah, so this one's the Mung Dweeble. Uh, I can't tell if... I can't tell which one's that supposed to be. Uh, there's only going to be a few different other kinds, so this one should be... Which one? The Anoid Dweeble? I mean, we are in a water one, so... I mean, no, 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 no. Is it the Anoid Dweeble because we are in a water one? Yep. The Anoid Dweeble. So, this is the first introduction to this one. The Anoid Dweeble, this should be the final one we see. The Anoid Dweeble, kind of like the other ones, part of the Dweeble family. It spells out, or it excels out, expel me. See, I can't even say it. It, it, it lets out electricity when threatened. So that one is the more dangerous one, because if you annoy it too much, and you're not careful, you lose Pikmin to the max. So that one you always gotta be careful with. Make sure you take it out immediately with your purples, or just make sure you use yellow if you're not confident. The bottom half of teeth, the behemoth jaw. 100 pokers. Alright, so luckily this cave wasn't as bad as it could have been. I feel like if the enemy layouts were worse, we could have lost a lot more Pikmin than that. Because the shower room can be very infamous for layouts that are not in our favor, so that's what I was a little bit worried of, but luckily that wasn't that bad. Just go ahead and collect that last treasure, and then we can call it a day for today's episode, because the next one we will be exploring the final sub-level of the shower room. Yes, we were leaving the last episode for just one floor, I know. But at least we'll have a little bit more to do afterwards. The Snapple bottle cap, the abstract masterpiece. I like Snapple. 30 pokemons. All right. So guys, with that, we collected everything. There's still one more floor and one more treasure and one more boss in the next one. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do hope you enjoyed. Um, just to recap, we did majority of the shower room. We just have, of course, one final piece left, and that is going to be the final floor. But we'll figure out a lot about that in the next episode, and we'll explore more of the perplexing floor. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys back here at, at the shower room for the final sub level 7 so we can tackle on the boss and get ourselves done and dusted here. I'll see you guys then. Take care.